Today, I have the pleasure and the honor to talk to Lahini Sivikanashan. And Lahini, you are an innovation advisor at Oracle. And it's today, it's World Bee Day. And not everybody knows that bees are very important for the world and the World Bee Project that analyzes all kinds of data to make this better. They create a more sustainable ecosystem for bees. Can you explain what it is and how you're working with them? Yep, so to introduce the, the mission of the World Bee Project is to increase food security and livelihoods by combining AI, um, sensor systems and world leading bee research to provide farmers and the general public with knowledge and solutions that they need to help foster healthy habits for um, different pollinators. So our team had started working with Sabiha Malik, who is the founder of the World Bee Project uh, almost two, three years ago now to map out the right technology stack to help tackle the problem using the latest cloud technology. Can you explain what type of data they analyze? Yep, so they are collecting data from sensors to put into hives to monitor acoustics, temperature, humidity, weight, and bee traffic. So they're combining that with already publicly available data um, to gather further insights. So we then used artificial intelligence, analytics, data science um, to look for patterns and anomalies in bee colony health in, in, um, in certain regions across the world to identify some problem areas. So an example of how we can use data to give us an understanding is using the temperature and the weight data. Um, that can immediately tell you if there's a problem with the hive. So not only are we collecting data to monitor the bee environment, but we also want to know how we can scale this. So given the current pandemic um, that we're actually in, so France, as an example, have had a massive boom in honey production. Um, they've had sunny weather, calm countrysides, and a combination with a fall in pollution has enabled bees to thrive and collect pollen after a previous honey season, which um, was consisted of cold, wet weather. Um, so what we can then do is actually use the data from last year, compare that to what's going on at the moment and use some analytics to find some visuals, create some visuals and see how um, bees are thriving in different weather conditions and then be able to share that data to other beekeepers to learn and understand that. Yeah, and to understand the, the bee population better, you can start monitoring. Can predictive intelligence help with this? Uh, yep, so um, an example of how we use predictive intelligence is to predict when bees might swarm. So a swarm is essentially a natural occurrence that happens when the bees have outgrown their hive and it involves roughly two thirds of the bees wanting to leave with their queen to actually start a new colony. So it's leaving behind another new queen to uh, continue the existing one. But this can actually be a problem though if bees are swarming at the wrong time of the year for example, in the winter, because they're under a threat from a, pe a predator or some kind of disease. But um, speaking of predators, the acoustics and visual sensors can detect hornets, which are a huge threat to bee populations. So the sound from the wing of a hornet is actually different from those of bees. And using AI, it can pick up that automatically and alert beekeepers to the hornet threat. So given that swarming occurs, we've used analytics to visualize the acoustic data and understand when bees hum. Um, and the humming can be detected as early as three weeks before they are ready to set off. And it's not going very well with the global bee population as they are in decline right now. So how is real-time data used nowadays to combat this decline? So the global bee population is in decline for a number of threatening reasons. So it's to do with pollution, climate change, uh, diseases, predators, and loss of habitats. A uh, fun fact is that 87% of all flowering plants are also dependent on pollination. So without bees and pollinators, we'd have far fewer plants, meaning that uh, it affects the photosynthesis process and leading to oxygen levels decreasing. So there is little coordination on how all the data is also shared on a global scale, which is why the World Bee Project have set up the Global Hive Network um, and this is the world's first globally coordinated honeybee monitoring initiative, which is 
designed to generate new data about honeybee health and its relationship with varying environments. So you've got beekeepers, researchers, governments and organisations. Um, they can relate to a source which can easily be accessed by all and ultimately is all about working together to help protect our bees and the planet. It's great to see how technology is used for the good. Nahini, thanks a lot for sharing this great story at World Bee Day. And for the audience, thank you for watching.